Hello everyone, this is Dr. Karaguzel, and today I would like to introduce a calculator with an Excel. And this calculator is Thermal Insulation Thickness Calculator. Uh, the tool, the calculator, basically requires an, two types of input. One of them is the thermal conductivity of a specific thermal insulation material. And the other one is the like the target or the required R value of insulation in a building assembly in the IP system. So, you know, most of the time uh, during design, we talk about different R value targets like R20, R30, R40 for the wall or the roof insulation. So this calculator takes this target value and, and based on a specific thermal insulation material calculates the required thickness. And the calculator has also another function of uh, conversion from IP to SI system, because these R value discussions are mostly done in the IP system, but you can convert it to the R value in the SI system and then reverse it, uh, take the reciprocal and con con calculate the thermal conductance and also the thickness uh, the thickness data is also given as uh, meters, centimeters, feet, and inches. So here is an example. I'm looking for R20, uh, R value for my insulation, and I'm using a specific type of insulation with a thermal conductivity of 0 0.007, which is the vacuum insulation panel from Veritech, which looks like a very powerful insulation material in terms of thermal resistance capacity and look at the conductivity it's a very very low value so when i plug in the number and this is my target uh, our value i get 0 0.025 meter or 2.5 centimeters or one inches so that's what i get from the tool so as a thickness i get say one and in a size system 2.5 centimeters what about r30 if i would like to increase my target to r30 then the required thickness obviously will increase while keeping the conductivity the same. So in P system is one and a half inch and in the SI system about uh, 3.7 centimeters. What about R40? The number is changing and the thickness is increasing. It's 1.9 inches, almost two inches and 4.9 centimeters, almost five centimeters. So this is what you get out from the tool. Let's try a different type of thermal insulation like EPS rigid insulation panel that I derived from the IESVE library, just because they got something along the way. And uh, here, the, this material has a thermal conductivity of uh, 0.025 watts per meter Kelvin. Let's plug in the number. But attention to the thickness. Let's keep an eye on the required thickness. With the vacuum insulation, the thickness is about 4.9 centimeters. Let's see what will happen to the thickness with the EPS rigid. 17.6 centimeters. You see the increase, right? More than three times. And as you see, you see the impact of thermal conductivity on the required thickness because I'm keeping my R40 target unchanged. But I'm going to a con thermal insulation material which is a much higher conductivity as compared to my vacuum insulation. So you can try different options. R20, you get 8.8 .8 centimeters. R30, 13.2 centimeters. Again, it will go on and on as much as you try. So uh, basically the end product of this thermal insulation thickness calculator is the required thickness based on the target R value and the conversion between IP system and the SI system. So the rest is up to you. You can take this thickness and then move on to your thermal simulation, energy simulation program and plug in the number. And as long as you have the right type of insulation material as you define here, you make sure that you get to hit the target of the R value that you started in the first place. Thank you for your attention. See you guys next time.